All right, guys, a lot of people have been asking for this, so I will walk you through a manual installation of UE4 SS Test Sync Map Injector. Uh, as always, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description down below to this mod page so you guys can follow along with everything that I'm doing. And if you like this mod, which you absolutely should, based off how many mods require it, go ahead and endorse it. That is basically the like button of Nexus Mods. And let's go ahead and dive into installation. So first off, for requirements, of course, this is going to depend on UE4 SS for Oblivion Remastered. If you didn't realize that, I'm sorry for your loss. Alright, mods requiring this is obscene and will continue to grow quite a bit. So just keep that all in mind. This mod re requires one thing and then several mods require it. Okay, so installation. We have a Game Pass version and we have a Steam version. I'm going to cover the Steam version. Uh, if you guys want a Game Pass version, I'm very sorry. I just don't have Game Pass version and I won't know where this goes. But I'm almost certain it's going to be just the same for Game Pass as it is for Steam of you drag and drop this and it finds its route. All right. With that apology out of the way, let's go ahead and get into manual installation for the Steam version. Do a manual download. It, of course, is requiring that. Do a slow download. And some of you that are following my videos know I already have a manual mods folder where I stash all of the mods I install manually. Uh, I'll just go ahead and save it there. You guys do not need a folder for that. I just have it to keep things nice and neat. Okay, so now that we have it, you can see we have this thing that says Steam 1272, yada, yada, yada. It's a zip folder. See the zip there? We're going to go ahead and extract it. Uh, I'm using 7-zip for that. Feel free to use whatever you'd like for it. If you have something else, it's not going to matter. All right, now that it is there and unzipped, we're going to go ahead and delete the zip file because I don't need that anymore. I have everything I need right here. We're going to open it up, and as you can see, we have this Oblivion Remastered folder here. Uh, it has a nice file path set up already inside of it, and that, I think, is to help with Vortex to automatically get things set up. And as you can see, I do have it right here already, Steam version. But I'm opening Vortex just to get to my games folder pretty easily. Alright, so we have the game folder here, and we have the mod over here. And we are just going to follow this Oblivion Remastered path all the way through. Binaries, go in here, we got Win64, UE4SS, Gonna go into this. It's got mods here. We're gonna go to mods. And as you can see here, we have this test sync map injector right here. What you would normally do to install this is just drag this on over and make sure that it's in this mods folder here. Okay. The reason that I'm not doing that is because I already have it installed through Vortex. So you can see it right there, test sync map injector. It is going to be the exact same, except folder managed by Vortex is showing up for me because I've got Vortex doing everything. But essentially, just dragging this test sync map injector over here under mods is all that you need to do to get this installed and up and running. Okay, so that was pretty much it for installation for this mod. Um, I don't think there's really anything else we need to cover. That's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that was pretty straightforward, very simple to follow along. 
if you guys did get stuck somewhere or it's just not working for you, or if you have a solution for the Game Pass version and it's a bit different, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, spread some awareness, get some good information and help as many people as possible. It does kind of suck that I don't have Game Pass version. It can't help people that do have it. But it is what it is, guys. And if you think I did a good job, also please, please let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing that all this hard work I'm putting in is going in a good direction for helping people. All right, guys, with all of that out of the way, as always, happy modding and happy Mondays. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it, and I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.